Good morning and welcome to your practice. Thank you for joining me and Teddy. We're excited to have you here this morning. And we're just going to breathe and move simple, gentle, find some space in the body. Yeah? Let's get started. So taking a few moments to wiggle out. So whatever that looks like for you, and then find somewhere to be still for a few moments. Are you rolling the shoulders back, broadening the heart space? And then lengthen the back of the neck up and the crown of the head on an inhale. And then exhale, you can imagine the breath moving down the spine, into the sit bones, into the earth. And then inhale, drawing back up through the earth, spine, neck, crown of the head. And exhale, grounding in. Allowing your inhales to lift. A few more times like this. And any intention you'd like to set for your practice today, feel free to do that here. And a very simple and powerful and often overlooked purpose of coming to our mat is just to meet ourselves, just to say hello. Noticing what's going on in our breath, in our body, in our emotions, in our energy. It's a valuable space, valuable information, and a valuable friendship that we can create right here. Take the hands to heart center. Press all fingers into its other finger matching finger and press so much that you can feel the shoulder blades come onto the back just slightly. Lots of activation here kind of gluing the hands together. And then on the inhale, we're going to open the fingers really wide and spread the arms into a T, pull the heart forward and then reach out the sides of the fingers. Like you could just get even bigger here. Broaden the collarbone, open the throat and gaze up. And then exhale, give yourself a big hug. Right arm over left, curl the chin to the chest, round the back. Maybe shake the head, no, yes. And then big inhale, tee the arms. Again, move with resistance like you're opening up slowly. I always think of like Care Bear, like Care Bear Stare, like opening up the, their little um, hearts. And then exhale, big hug, left arm on top, round. Pull the belly to the spine, chin to chest. Sometimes I like to think about uh, as if somebody was dropping water or honey on the back of my head, it would just roll off my head, drip onto the floor, melting. And then inhale, big T, open wide. And then exhale, let's right arm over left, but eagle the arms. So backs of the hands can touch. Hands can also go to shoulders or they can wrap all the way around. Wherever you are, find some resistance, some activation. We'll do a cat cow in the spine. So you can make this as big as small as you'd like. Inhale, lift, arch the back. And exhale, curl. Inhale, lift and curl. Once more, inhale, lift. Exhale, curl. And inhale, really wide, open up into a T and switching sides. Exhale, left arm on top, your version of eagle arms. And let's move with breath. 
lifting, arching. And exhale, curling in, squeezing wherever your arms are, squeezing them into one another, creating activation, lighting up the energy. Once more, inhale, lift. And exhale, curl. Inhale, open up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Tabletop position. Find some wiggle, some movement here. Big rolls of the shoulder, circles with the hips. And then gaze down at your hands and really put the weight into the fingers, especially thinking about um, rooting down through this front knuckle here. Making a lot of contact there in the pinky knuckle as well. Tuck the toes. Exhale, lift the knees, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward, drop the knees, lower the belly, open the heart. Cow pose. Soft bend in the elbows here. Exhale, push into the earth, lift the knees, Hips up and back, downward facing dog. So we're just moving back and forth. And then inhale, lift heels, slowly knees drop, belly falls, heart opens, throat opens. Softness in the elbows. Continue to move like this at your pace. Long breaths. Couple rounds at your, your pace. Any variation you'd like to add. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. Inhale. Lift the right leg and lift it just a little bit to begin with. You can gaze back at your toes. Press down through the left foot so much that the right leg lifts. Really think about lifting through the right inner thigh as well. So you have a little bit barely internal rotation. Hips are square. And then exhale knee to knee. Sink the hips low. Inhale, lengthen both legs out. Tripod down dog. And exhale, knee to knee, sink low. Inhale, lengthen tripod down dog. And then exhale, bring the right knee halfway up the mat. Inhale, the left leg lifts up. Bend the knee and take some big hip circles. And we're gonna move the hip circles going um, out to the side and then back. And then switch the circles going forward. So out to the side and then forward. And then we're gonna take the left leg, the left foot all the way outside the left hand and then walk the hands forward as the hips sink. So we're in a lizard pose here. You can pet your doggy if they're at the top of your mat. And we're gonna wave the spine. So I'm walking my hands forward out from underneath my shoulders. And then waving. I'm tinting the hands, spidering the fingertips as I wave the spine. So find your variation of this. And then right hand plants underneath the shoulder, maybe a little wide, left hand onto the knee, pull the left hip crease back. You can kind of dial the left foot out to the side a little bit, maybe onto the pinky toe edge side, and then twist towards the left. Gaze over the left shoulder. One more inhale. And exhale, left hand plants, back toes, tuck, press back, downward facing dog. Mm -hmm. 
Lift the heels, inhale, slowly drop the knees, coming into cat pose, that really long extended inhale. And then exhale from this cat pose, the heart is open, the throat is open. We're gonna dip the heart down, bend the elbows. Untuck the toes. As you slide the belly down, the heart slides through. Elbows pulling in towards the body, shoulders rolling back, pubic bone pressing down. And then exhale, let the forehead touch the ground. On an inhale, tops of toes, pubic bone press down as you lift the heart up, low cobra. And exhale, slide down. Once more. Inhale, tops of toes, pubic bone press down so that the heart lifts up. And exhale, press down through the hands, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Full round of breath. Gazing back at the toes, press down so much through the right foot that the left toes begin to lift. They can spread as they lift, make it active. Lift through the left inner thigh, tripod down dog, really pressing through the hands. I like to kind of dial the hands towards each other just a little bit, so a little internal rotation with the hands, with the forearms. Exhale, both knees bend, knee comes to knee, get really long fingers to hips. Inhale, lengthen, tripod. Exhale, knee to knee, get low. Inhale, lengthen both legs. Exhale, this time we're gonna bring the left knee halfway up the mat. Shoulders over wrists. Inhale, right leg lifts. Bend the knee and take some big hip circles out and back to begin. See how still that you can keep the pelvis here so you're really utilizing some strength as you move. Steady breath, and then switching sides. So reversing the circle. Right foot steps outside, right hand, big step up. Shift the torso forward, hands reach forward off the mat. Torso comes to the inside of the right thigh. Spider the fingers, so they're tented up and then sway the spine with breath. Inhale, you press down through the fingers, lift up. Exhale, bid the elbows fold down. Some variation of that. Let your breath move you. One more inhale. And then left hand comes under left shoulder, maybe a little bit out. To the side, right hand, right knee, take a twist. Sink the hips, pull back right hip crease. Maybe coming onto the knife edge of the right foot, just an option. And then right hand plants down, back toes tuck, downward facing dog. Inhale, the heels lift, shift forward, knees drop. Belly drops, heart opens, cow pose. Soft in the elbows. From this space, exhale, heart touches the ground. Untuck the toes, slide belly heart through, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, touch the top of the head down. This time hands go behind the back, interlace. Roll the shoulders, elbows come together, tops of the feet, tops of the pubic bone press down as you lift up. Let's stay for three rounds of breath. Back of the neck is long. Really pressing down through the pubic bone. Leave the heart up here as the hands come back by the ribs. Press into the earth. Tuck the toes, downward facing dog. One round of breath here. Inhale, the right leg lifts. And exhale, knee to knee, bend both knees, get low. 
Inhale, lengthen tripod. Use the whole breath to get where you're going. So slow motion movements. Exhale, knee to knee, sink low. Inhale, tripod. And exhale, right knee halfway up the mat. Inhale, left leg lifts. And exhale, knee to nose. Press the ground away. Inhale, lengthen back. Exhale, knee to nose, press the ground away, arch the spine. Inhale, lengthen up and back. And then exhale, big step outside of the left hand as the hands move forward. Three snakes of the spine. Really pressing down through the left foot, pulling back on the left hip crease. Hands come back under the shoulders. We're going to slide the back shin around, sit down into sage pose. I know y'all been digging this pose, it's one of my favorites. Hands to heart center. Press left elbow, left tricep into the leg. Leg back into the tricep, glue them together there. Steady breath, sternum coming into the thumbs, thumbs pressing back into the sternum. One more inhale. And then exhale, the left hand comes down, spider, on the spider hands. Right arm up and over, reach towards the left. Palms facing down, reach, reach, reach. So the fingers, especially the pinky finger, let that be the guide. And then we're gonna swoop to the back of the mat. Right hand plants, and then left arm comes up and over. I moved my bottom knee so it's under my hip. So you can adjust however you need. Big breath, maybe send the hips forward just a little bit. You can even cactus this top arm, kind of pull back like you're sucking up air through the palm of your hand as the heart opens. Hips move forward. And exhale, come back around to the top of the mat. Downward facing dog. And we'll do this on the other side. Inhale, the left leg lifts, tripod. Lift through the inner thigh, maybe slight micro bend in the right leg. Exhale, knee to knee. Inhale, lengthen, tripod. Exhale, knee to knee. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, left knee halfway up the mat. Inhale, right leg lifts. And exhale, knee to nose, really press into the hands. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, step outside the right hand. Fingers come forward, torso comes forward, tint the hands, snake the spine, move with breath. Every time you inhale, can you draw the heart forward just a little bit more? And then bring the hands back under the shoulders, slide the back shin around to sit on the heel, sage pose, hands to heart center. Right arm pressing into the left leg, gluing together, finding it border there. Steady breath. Sternum presses into thumbs, thumb presses into sternum, and then that whole spot, that place where they connect, Everything lifts up. Right hand tents down out to the right. Inhale, left arm lifts up and over, side body stretch. Again, really gluing leg into the arm, arm back into leg. And then swooping to the back of the mat. Right arm lifts up and over, big long line of energy from the right fingertips all the way to the right pinky toe edge side of the foot. 
Now send the hips forward just slightly, then like you're sucking up air with the palm. Inhale, cactus the top arm. Begin to spiral the heart open just slightly. Just as far as feels, feels delicious and curious to you. And exhale, come back towards the top of the mat. The hands plant, back toe tucks, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels as you come forward, the knees come down. Cow pose, long inhale. And exhale, heart comes down. Untuck the toes, slide the belly down, heart comes forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, crown of the head, or forehead comes down as the hands come behind the back. Inhale, press down to lift up. Three rounds of breath. Pull elbows together as the hands actively pull apart. Lengthen the back of the neck. And exhale, palms come by the ribs. Press back, child's pose. Three rounds of Kind of roll towards the left a little bit. Press into the left hand to create a little bit of space here. Right arm lifts, gaze up towards the fingers, and then exhale, slide the right hand underneath, threading the needle in child's pose. Forehead can come down to the ground or you can turn the head to either side. Steady breath. Three deep rounds. And from this space, inhale, lift the left arm up, and then take it behind the back. Maybe the hand places onto the sacrum, or maybe you can connect it onto the thigh. Wherever you are, lean back into the shoulders. It can be nice to turn the right palm down so you can press into the floor as well. So this just intensifies, deepens a bit. and release all the pieces into child's pose. Tint the fingers, wave the spine just a couple times, rinsing out. And then press down into the right hand to create a little bit of space here. Left hand slides underneath. Thread the needle, three rounds of breath. And you can stay here or look at your left hand. You can turn it over, press down into the ground. Lift the right arm up. You can gaze up, deepening the twist. Take the hand either to the sacrum, leaning back into the shoulders, or take it all the way around and maybe grab the thigh. One more inhale. And exhale, release. Tint the fingers, spider the hands. Sway the spine a couple more times. And keep the heels towards, the hips towards the heels as you slide all the way up. To move the legs all the way out in front, swing them around. Flex the toes back towards the face. Press down through the sit bones. Lift up through the hands and fold forward. Three sways of the spine or find stillness. And if you're swaying the spine after your third round, then let's take a few rounds in stillness.
slowly pressing down to lift up. Pulling the legs in, coming back to where we began. Hands to the thighs, palm up, palm down. And then take a moment of a wiggle just to see what shifted. And then back to stillness. A couple rounds of breath. Again, just meeting yourself. Noticing what is alive for you now. It's good to understand and remember that we are always in flux and we're always shifting. And the more that we can listen, observe, get to know ourselves, like any other relationship, we spend time with ourselves. That's how we build, how we get to know. So thank you for showing up. Thank yourself for showing up for you. Let's take one more inhale together. And a big sigh out. And next inhale can open the eyes. Mm. I hope that that resonated. It definitely felt good in my body. And thank you for practicing with us. If you like these morning classes, I love practicing in the morning. I feel like I've already won my day. Um, starting off swell. Then I have lots of practices, morning practices that you can see in this playlist here. So let's do it again, shall we? Ciao.